guys, here we have the Army Green 2020 TRD Pro, and um, it's a pretty fantastic truck. What I'm going to be talking to you about, what I'm going to talk to you about right now is the black undercoating. It's a wool wax. Now, we put this on the truck to protect to protect it from the uh, assault because it causes rusting and all of the bad stuff that you don't want. Like my dad, he had a um, forerunner for about 17 years and the only reason why it, we had to junk it is because the undercoat was completely rusted out due to the salt. We live in upstate New York in the Catskill Mountains so we get constant snow, constant ice, so there's constant snow, uh, salt on the road. Now they did not take off the skid plates, they kind of did around it and everything else here you can just kind of see the black <clears throat> good stuff. living somewhere with a lot of salt you might want to think about getting this we got a good deal at this place up in Albany New York for $3.99 and now I can come back for a lifetime and every year go back and get myself a nice good fresh undercoating just because you're gonna want to do it yearly to keep it up you know I mean if you do it once every couple of years but ideally every year because then your undercarriage will never rust out and you could have it for like, think about this. My dad had a Forerunner for 17 years, never got it undercoated, and never washed it during the winter, and it only rusted out after 7, 18 years. So if you're keeping this up, and you're keeping up, and with the care of the truck, you could make this last a whole lifetime. Yeah? And, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's the hitch. You know, it's pretty great stuff. That's an example right here. If you don't undercoat your car, that's, that's what, what it'll happen. look like. Yep, and you don't want that. Because then your actual car will look nice, but the undercarriage will just be I shot. can't believe this. Yeah, it's a new You know, that's for me. What'd you do? Actually, I don't know That's it depressing. Is. Well, folks, LA Burn Talk, CRD Pro, So, yeah, if you guys want to, uh, to protect your car, it doesn't even have to be a Tacoma your truck, car, whatever you got, I would highly recommend undercoating it. Um, if you live in an area with a lot of salt, just cause it will tear apart your car. Um, they did the whole undercarriage from the frame to the fenders. It came out pretty nicely. The only thing now it's just gonna make putting the lift down, the Westcott lift, a little harder. But besides that, we're uh, we're looking we're looking pretty good. So, like I said, if I were you guys, I would highly recommend undercoating your Tacoma. I think it's easily the most important mod you could you could do. So, catch you guys in the next video let me know your thoughts